Men who had a woman stop respecting them. What caused her to no longer respect you? Kept breaking promises to improve our communication. Didn't really meet her needs and I never even knew what my own needs were. I hope you have figured out your own needs and are learning to communicate them. It is crucial in a good relationship. As you have no doubt figured out. Indeed. I just wish I'd figured it out without potentially hurting someone in the process. I always told myself I wouldn't do that. Finding myself at a rare point of overconfidence led me to feel like I already had enough emotional intelligence and that I had being a good boyfriend patterned. Alas I did not. Kept calling her out for her hypocrisy in front of others when she'd s on them for no reason but would play the let's all be respectful card. Sounds like you never had her respect because she is not a respectful person. According to her she either lost respect for me when she saw my cry during the opening montage in Up or when she first broke up with me and I didn't chase her trying to get her to take me back. Women are weird. Or at least she was. She saw me as lazy and without agency. I saw myself as exhausted and overwhelmed. Was going to say something similar. She thought that I lacked aspirations, but I really just aspired to be content and happy. That's the real goal worth aspiring for. My immature behavior and careless words. I know some mofo who s his pants after eating some bad chicken and his wife left him. Went dancing with her. She saw me dancing. Made a bunch of comments about how weird my dancing was. I don't dance anymore. One of the STS things anyone can do is make fun of someone who is having fun. Like you don't make fun of someone's laugh. Especially if that person is genuinely laughing. That S stays with you for life. You do you man. Dancing is the freedom of expressing happiness and letting go. Make fun of someone's laugh and you may never hear it again. I was an immature, angry, alcoholic man-child 23 year old. 23 is still extremely young though. Would be worse if 35 plus and still doing that to be honest. 43 now slightly more mature. Became an alcoholic. She never said it but you can tell. She didn't lose total respect. But we weren't as good and it was all my fault. For the past half year my wife and I are better than ever and in proudly 13 days sober. It'll be 14 in a day, a month, a year, and so on. You've got this brother. Thanks man. Gets way easier after a couple weeks. If you ever have a craving for the taste of beer or something there's actually a really strong emerging market for non-alcoholic beer. Personally I was absolutely blown away when I first tried a Heineken Zero. Zero. It's really so f close to a regular beer. It's also nice to drink. That when you go out with friends who do drink alcohol. Second best friend died in two years. I ugly cried in front of her. She didn't cancel the cruise. I spent thousands. She dumped me when we got home. Subhuman that's so disgusting. I feel you I've also been in love with a devil in disguise sadly it totally ruined me. I'm not the same since 8 years ago. I'm really shocked by all the she saw me cry comments. My wife saw me cry for the first time and the absolute unadulterated look of disgust on her face is burnt into my memory forever. That's messed up. Giving in to her all the time instead of standing my ground and saying no. The path of least resistance is not always the best. For sure. I lost my recording studio and cool career and took too long to get over the depression. Pretty much same here. I was a gigging musician with three bands that were pretty active. Corona destroyed all of that and left me in deep depression. Same. The virus did a real number on those of us who made a hard living in the music industry. Hang in there man. Don't stop creating. No one ever respected me until I respected myself. Mostly due to my lack of self respect being a major factor in having awful taste in women. Yup I was a dormant forever. I decided not to be and that shook things up a lot. But it's better. I cried in front of three friends after my grandfather died. I get that we were teenagers so they still thought boys didn't cry but it still hurt to see them change after I thought they were my three of my five closest friends and they regularly cried to each other and me. Honestly if a girl vents to me all the f time and then when I do it and I get an O or some absent minded s. 
I just stop listening to them and give the same treatment back pretty stress free at this point because I just refuse to give a rest anymore what people, especially girls, no offense, think of me. I wonder if there is a correlation with people vent a lot never know what to do when someone else does because for them, they're used to always being the ones doing the venting and never the listening. I showed her vulnerability. It was later used against me. Wow. She didn't deserve your vulnerability then. Oof. I wasn't fun anymore. Because I was a full time student and had two jobs to pay the bills while she was a hostess and spent her free time partying. I was focused on us getting somewhere good eventually and she was all about surface gratifications and also f other dudes who were probably fun. Same. The you changed because having a job, school and my priorities straight means my personality and character have somehow changed. Still managed to give her a couple hours a day and several hours of my time on weekends, but that still apparently isn't enough. I'm curious. Did this change happen around the two year mark? My first girlfriend broke up with me cause she lost respect for me when she found out I was a boy scout. And when she called me to break up with me, I was reading Wicked which I guess is gay, cause she then laughed her off, and she said that makes this so much worse. You're a faggot. I can't date a fag. Women can be really evil sometimes. That really did a number on me for a while edit. Thank you everyone for your kind words. And yes anyone can be evil. Man or woman. My story just happened to be about a woman. I meant no offense. Bro I always wanted to be a boy scout. Wish I did it, when I was younger, f that be dude you a trooper. I was a boy scout growing up. Seeing what has happened to the organization over the past decade is really sad. I don't even know, if there will be a boy scouts for my son, if I ever have one, to join. I cried in front of her. Like. Ugly cried. For context. It was about my dad. Same. I ugly cried, and it was never the same after that. Now it's hard for me to decide to go stoic or own my emotions. I have no idea and it's affecting my relationships. Sorry bro. S truly sucks. It's so difficult to recover from it as well. I've been in therapy for about 4 years now and it's still a subject of discussion. Women tell you to be yourself. Show your emotions etc but something in their over is just turn off when you show vulnerability and it's never the same again. I was overwhelmed with stress and anxiety and she saw me in a vulnerable state. Cried in front of her when my dad died. She acted differently towards me after that. Uh, losing my own boundaries. I let the world burn while trying to put out her fires. Then I realized what was going on. So I started to communicate my boundaries and what I will and will not accept. Very plain and clear and serious. She would test them and face the consequences. The consequence was me no longer being with her and completely cutting her out of my life. Always hold your boundaries. Bingo. I thought I had lost her respect by setting very reasonable boundaries but, in reality, I had finally gained it. She kept asking me about my crap mental health and I kept brushing her off. One day it was really bad and she asked again and I thought well we've been together almost 18 months. We're each other's first, and she really does care about me. Maybe I can open up a little. I could see her recoil as she realized I had actual emotions and trauma. And despite me helping her through all of hers every single time she didn't even try doing the same for me. She kept making things about herself. Completely invalidated everything I was feeling, and basically blamed me for the abuse I'd suffered. She very quickly began falling in love with one of her guy friends after that, and it was agony to watch her not even trying to be subtle about it as I tried to salvage the relationship in desperate on, before giving up and leaving. She got together with that guy, and they are still together now like a decade later. She's been fairly polite and civil to me, but recently I ran into her, and she started insisting we go for coffee sometime and catch up. So I wonder if the other guy made the same mistake I did, cause every time I see him, he looks more depressed and downtrodden. Don't go with her for that coffee. She needs to go with him. My wife and I are extremely snarky and sassy toward each other. We have always been this way. When we were dating and if anything. It's only gotten more extreme as the years go on. If you met us for the first time you would think we are being assholes to each other. 
But for those that know us, they understand we just constantly give each other shit. Anyways, a friend of my wife came over for supper one night and stayed after for some wine. I had to work late, so I got home when they were already two to four glasses in. When I walked in I said hello and then almost immediately said to my wife what? No supper in the over? Da hell. She replied back with your hands work. You sem. I shrugged and said fair. Heated up some supper for myself and proceeded to sit down with them. Well. Fast forward a few days and the friend tells my wife that she couldn't believe I talked to her that way and that she has no respect for a little boy who treats his wife that way. No explanation from my wife on how that's just how we are with one another would change this woman's mind. I apologized to my wife and admitted that maybe I shouldn't have busted out the joking like that being that it was only my second time meeting her and this is why I love my wife. She said fuck her. If she can't respect our marriage then I don't need to be friends with her. The fact that showing emotions is such a common answer here makes me sick. Showing emotions. To be more precise, sadness over a bungee that passed away. Paul Elberb. Bunches are sweet little things. My 4 year old thinks that wedges are called bunches. Showed emotions. One time cried over a death another time just had a really really bad week. Also relating to serious health conditions, you tend to get the awkward o. Followed by them suddenly not being available. Showed her true side there lad. Don't forget that. For sure. It's just alarming how common it is. I've had several relationships end because I've talked about my anxiety. Apparently for some women. Emotional support only goes one way. Fortunately my wife is amazing. If anything, you doing that is a natural filter. It drove away the bad apples from the good. I'm happy that you found someone you could comfortably talk to. It's hard for us guys to find that 